The Golden Acorn by Katie Hudson. Squirrel loves to win. Let's see. Katie Hudson, The Golden Acorn. Golden Acorn Hunt Strategy. There's a start. Plans, finish line. Squirrel's training plan. Squirrel loved being the fastest. She could fly through the trees faster than anybody and had the trophy collection to prove it. Her most prized trophies were from the annual Golden Acorn Hunt. Only the fastest racers won the golden acorn, and Squirrel had taken it home the last eight years. But this year was different. Look at all her training notes. Stay fast, just keep running. Squirrel wins another gold. All those competing in tomorrow's golden acorn hunt must do so as part of a team, Beaver Red. Rule change, all those competing must be part of a team. Squirrel scoffed, but I'm the fastest animal in the forest. I don't need a team. But we'd love to be on your team, Squirrel, said Rabbit brightly. You, Squirrel looked at her friends and they really did not seem like race material. But Squirrel had no choice. The race was tomorrow. Maybe a little training would do the trick. Squirrel's treetop boot camp. Or maybe not. Look at, let's see, we've got one afraid. The bird's doing okay. Go on, getting ready to go south. Turtle looks frightened. And the beaver's about to drop. The 60th annual golden acorn hunt. The next morning, Squirrel gathered her team at the starting line. The golden acorn has been hidden, the judge yelled. Ready, set, go! Whoosh! Squirrel was off, overtaking all the other racers, even her own team. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called. We've lost Tortoise! Hug Tortoise! Huff Squirrel pacing back. Squirrel grabbed Tortoise, plopped him back on the branch, and took off again. But not for long. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called once more. We're all tangled up! Squirrel untangled her friends and was off yet again for about 10 seconds. You can't be serious, oh, Squirrel. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called Beaver is stuck. Oh, come on! Squirrel groaned. Once Beaver's bottom was pushed free, Squirrel was off as fast as her feet would carry her so fast that she didn't even hear her friends calling for her. Over logs and under branches, inside trunks and above treetops, Squirrel raced as fast as she could to find the golden acorn. Until there it was. It was the biggest golden acorn squirrel had ever seen. She pried it from its hiding spot and took off. But the golden acorn was heavy, much too heavy to carry alone. And there was only Squirrel, all by herself. Squirrel and her golden prize. And after lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, she took a little rest. She was tired and sweaty and lonely. As Squirrel looked out upon all the other racers, still searching for the acorn, she realized she had lost her friends. The golden acorn would just have to wait. Whoosh! Off Squirrel raced, faster than she was, would ever race before. Over, lay, over logs, under branches, inside trunks, above treetops, until there they were. And after lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, Squirrel had her friends back. 
Her team didn't come in first and they didn't get a trophy. But it didn't matter. From now on, Squirrel's friends would always come first.